Okay guys, I'm uh, set up here in the on the river bluff again. This is the spot that I was going to on Tuesday night. I didn't quite make it in. Um, it is December 23rd now, it's Friday. This might be the last time I do before Christmas and then after Christmas we're going out of Missouri. So this may be the maybe the last hunt in Iowa for a while. It's about three o'clock now. Um, I've been in here for a while just thinking over my strategy and thinking about different places I could go. I think I, I'm going to stick in this spot. It's uh, somewhat of an observation set. I can see quite a long ways. I can overlook this marsh here decently well. But also I think whatever I do see has a pretty good chance of coming in range here. So I might get lucky too. I've already heard a few muscle shots, so it sounds like the deer are already moving. It's uh, pretty noisy here, I won't be able to hear much. It's pretty miserable conditions, I have to be some sort of stupid to be out here. But, uh, it's raining, going in and out of raining and snowing. And, uh, it's just not quite cool enough to snow yet, I guess. But, I love hunting in the snow, and I don't like hunting in the rain, so hopefully it'll down here and start snowing instead of raining. Wind is pretty perfect. It's coming out of the swamp here and uh, the marsh and coming up over the hill. So anything, I think most of the deer movement is going to and from the ag field over and down that ridge and uh, back to this marsh here where they're bedding. So that's the deer movement. Should be really good wind for that. I'm just set up in a spot on the transition line of this marsh and where some trails come together so I think it's a pretty good plan we'll see what happens about a yard from me it went literally right on the other side of that tree I mean he was within two yards all I'm doing is sitting on a log that has like a spike coming up and he was right there he was just looking at me and I mean I didn't even move I didn't want to move to get the camera on him or anything and we were just looking into each other's eyes that was cool he ended up getting nervous and just walking down that way again but he never even spooked hard so that was cool my wind was going i mean it's obviously my scent would be all over this general area so i don't know how he didn't smell me but good scent control i guess man that's why you come out here that was exciting too bad he wasn't four or five years older. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wrap up the night here. Uh, we still have about 10 minutes left of legal shooting light, but it's getting dark here. 
pretty quick with the dense cloud cover. I didn't end up seeing anything more than that uh, young buck there, but it was kind of surprising. I was thinking I would see a lot more come out of the marsh here. They might just be waiting out this uh, storm to move through, but I don't know. It's alright. It's still fun to get out. It was a really cool encounter being that close to that deer on the ground here, so. I was thinking, you guys may or may not think I'm having a slow late season, but man, compared to last year, I am having tons of action. I've actually seen quite a few deer. I mean, there's been some obstacles, I guess, but it's been pretty fun. So, I've seen a lot of deer last last year during late season. I I was only hunting a couple of the spots I'm hunting now, and uh, man, I went. I don't know how many times I went out and didn't see a single deer all of the late season. I spooked a few, but it was, man, I have a lot better plan this year because I'm seeing actually quite a few deer. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap up the night. Make sure you guys have a Merry Christmas and remember what it's truly about. And uh, just have fun with your families. Be thankful for what you have.